Hello, I'm just making this video to help people out with a few of the virtual machine issues that they've been having. I apologise, I wasn't aware when I first built the machine that it had an issue with Intel VTX extensions. What they are are little sort of enhancements to the hardware chipset that allow your virtual machine or the technology that's utilised in virtual machines to act more performant and be able to give you a better experience. So I've written an email out to help people how to sort of at least either fix the issue by enabling it or some people won't have that ability so I've sort of made uh, included a few links to be able to enable people to build their own virtual machines. Now there's generally four steps to this process the first is downloading virtual machine uh, VMware player you don't actually need a license for this you just use it for non-commercial uses and remember this is training this is non-commercial use and so what you do is you go through you download it you click the non-commercial license aspect of it and you don't need to use any more the second thing is what you want to do after that is go and grab the Ubuntu 20.04 uh, ISO desktop image. I've also included a link to that for people. You don't need to donate even if it asks you to. You can just download it after a few seconds. The third thing is to actually install the virtual machine on the VMware player. So I've included a video that goes through how to do that. And the fourth thing is actually installing the sort of fuzzing and instrumentation software on the machine. So I there's no there's nowhere online that really does that for exactly the way I want. So I'm just going to quickly go through and show people how to install AFL. I'm not going to do this for Hong Fuzz. It, the, the, the process isn't very different, but AFL is the main tool that we're using. And I talk about that an awful lot. So first thing, you're going to be presented with a screen like this. Now, you're either going to have two options. You're going to be able to right click the desktop and select open a terminal. Or you're going to be able to hit your Windows key and then type in term and it's going to come up with terminal. You just click on it and you'll get a link, you know, you'll get a screen like this. It's obviously, the text isn't going to be as big because I'm trying to do it. This is part of a demonstration, but this is what you do. So what you do is you type in sudo apt get install vim build essential git clang. So this is just the command. These are the commands and this is what you want to install on the right hand side. All you do then is just to enter. It'll ask you for your password. The password is fuzz that I've used anyway. It'll, if you're building this machine yourself, it'll be whatever password you've set for yourself. Hit yes, continue to install. After a few seconds, everything will be built and installed. Next, we're going to go to Google and get the link for AFL++. I'll include this in the email as well for people. So we just look up AFL++, click on the link, and we go to this code bit here and just click this little uh, sort of copy symbol here. Or you can click here and then just hit Control c to get the link. Next, what we're going to do is type git clone and then just paste that link there. So it looks like this. You don't need sudo this time. You just type git clone. Hit enter. It'll go and download everything for you. Next, you will change the directory to AFL++, I believe it's capitalized, there we go. So we should have a directory that looks like this. Now what we need to do is just type make, type the command make. And it should inst it should build, not install, we're compiling and building the tools first, we're not actually installing it. And after a while it should complete. Then all we do is type sudo make install and it will be installed. And that's all the tools that you need. So you just follow those guides, like I've said, I'll include the relevant links and send this, vid you know, I'm including this video at the bottom, but this is all you really need to do. Then you should have access to the tools after you've typed that final install step, sudo make install.